Hello and welcome back to my channel E Maths. And today I'm back after a long gap, but I promise that I'm going to upload my videos very often from now on. So today's topic that I've taken is exponents. And in exponents, I'm basically going to talk about the laws that we use. Laws is the only thing that we need to remember to do exponents. So let's talk about the laws of exponents. So if we talk about the first law, that is the product law. Product law, as the name goes, it is all about terms getting multiplied because this is the thing that lets us know that okay fine there is a product sign then you need to see the terms whether they have the same basis or not so here this is the base and this is the par and this is the base so when the bases are same and there is a product sign multiplication sign in between the two terms it means you can apply this law which in which you can do you can keep the base common and add up the parts so this is applicable even if it is a variable or if it is a number anything you can apply this law anywhere just to check that the base is same and there is a product sign in between then comes the quotient law quotient law as the name goes quotient is something that we get when we divide when we divide two numbers we get the quotient that means your question should have the terms which are being divided but again the terms should have the same base the bases have to be same when you are applying such laws so quotient is of course you get it when you divide whether it's upon or if there is a division sign in between it means the same just check if the bases are same you, and it is being divided you just need to subtract the parts so that's what is quotient law now I am going to tell you about the power law as the name suggests power we are going to deal with the powers in this law so here we have this what will we do if we get a question like this where there is only one term and we have two parts on it separated by a bracket you will simply open up the bracket and to do that we need to multiply the two parts which were there on that particular term so this is all about <coughs> power law now there is one more law where you might have two variables then there is a bracket and it has one single part now when you will open up this bracket what you will do is this power will be applicable on this as well and it will come on this as well so that means a will also have this power m and this b will also have this power m similarly this can be in division as well and then a bracket and there is a power outside the bracket when you will open it up it will again come on both the variables on the numerator and the denominator then we have the zero exponent rule zero exponent rule means if any term has a power zero it can be a number or variable or anything if it has a power zero the value will always be one even if it is a 0 having a power 0, the answer will be 1 to it. Then, there is, a, there is one rule for negative exponents. For example, if we have, this is known as negative exponent rule. Negative exponent rule. In which you might encounter a question where the power is negative. And to make it positive, you just need to reciprocal it. And if you have the negative power in the denominator, then again you have to reciprocal it. That means a to the power minus m will go to the numerator power. So these pointers, these laws are very, very important to carry on with this chapter. And this really 
simplifies our questions if you remember all the laws you can move ahead you can like your time can be decreased your speed will be more to solve one particular question so it's very important to focus on these laws and remember them so this was all about the basic laws of exponents i hope you liked my class do subscribe my channel keep watching keep sharing have a good day